Hello and welcome back to my programming channel. My name is Ryan and today we'll be looking at how to get input from your user as well as putting those inputs into variables and doing things with those variables. All right, well, let's get started. And once that opens, we'll be able to get started. So we're gonna dive into some more advanced things uh, in this episode, uh, like variables and things like that, and uh, integer and double and assigning variables certain things. Okay, so we're gonna go file new Java project, and we'll just go ahead and call it uh, user input. Oh, I'll go ahead and make that a capital user. So just user input, click finish, come over here to the left, go new, class. I'll just go ahead and call the uh, the class the same thing, user input. Uh, we do want the public static void. Okay, so, and we don't need this comment here, I'll just go ahead and get rid of that. All right, so here we have our class, and uh, it is public class user input. We have our public static void main, and we're all ready to go. But the first thing that we'll need to do is we'll need to go into the Java libraries and go and get the scanner utility. And we'll need to do this because in order to get input from the user, this is one way that we'll be able to do that. So first we'll need to start out by importing it. So import, and we'll, we do this We'll do this at the very, very top of the program. So import java.util and dot scanner. Okay, go ahead and zoom in there. So we have import java.util.scanner. Okay, and now we're able to create a new scanner object. So what we'll want to do, we'll want to make scanner input equals new scanner oh, oh geez <laughs> new scanner parentheses system dot in and finish that off with a semicolon okay now this input as you can see right here now this could be anything this could be x input whatever we want y it's just a variable so we'll just go input for now Okay, so now that we have all our scanner uh, things ready and set up, uh, let's uh, let's ask the user a question. So let's go system dot out dot print. We'll go println and let's say enter three numbers. Okay, and as you can see, this little space that I put there, that's so the first number that they enter won't be right up against the uh, colon there. Okay, so let's just go ahead and run that and see what we get. So, okay, enter three numbers. Okay, now, if we try and do that, you know, nothing, we can't, we can't type into the console at this point, but the next step we'll be able to do that. All right, so now we need to define some variables and as well, and we'll define them as doubles. So we'll go double, and our first number that the user will enter, we'll go number zero. And put that equal to the input, which is the same input as this right here. So this could be double number zero equals x, uh, whatever, dot next double, because it is a double. Um, and then we just do two parentheses like so. And that will allow us to get the first number that the user enters. So we'll just go ahead and copy and paste this. We'll just do that two more times for the three numbers. So number one and number two. Okay, so now, now we'll be able to get three numbers from the user. All right, so now, now the program we'll be able to accept three numbers that the user enters. So now what, what, what do we want to do with these numbers? Well, we want to average them. So we'll create a new variable and we'll call it double average and we'll set it equal to number zero plus 
number one plus number two divided by three. And we'll go ahead and put parentheses around the addition following order of operations. Make sure we finish with a semicolon at the end there. Okay, so what we can do now is we can, um, sorry, we can print out the result. So system.out.println. Okay, now there's a few ways that we can print out the result. We can say, let's just say the average of the three numbers. And now this next thing that I'm about to do is called concatenating. And that's just, so as you can see, this right here is in the quotation marks. And uh, so that, that applies to only the things in the quotation marks. And so say I put the average of the three numbers plus, and then I go number zero, and then I'll do this, put a space in between it, and then plus, Oh, I forgot a plus right here. Now this gets kind of confusing, but okay, so we've got the plus and then we'll go number one plus, and we want to put spaces in between the numbers and this is just the easiest way to do that. Just quotation marks with the space in between, we'll do that for you. And then number two, oh, I forgot a plus sign in front of there, plus, and then plus again, and then we'll go is. So the average of the three numbers plus number zero, plus number one, plus number two, plus is, and we'll put a space, and then we'll do plus, and then average. Oh, I spelled average wrong up here, Av average. So now those should line up, finish with a semicolon, Okay, and now we should be we should be good. Okay, so let's run it and see what we get. Okay, so enter three numbers. All right, well, let's do some easy ones. So we'll do four, and we'll do eight, and we'll do six. And the average of the three numbers, oh, looks like I need a space after numbers. Go ahead and do that, save that. So the average of the three numbers, four, eight, six, is six. Yep. Okay, so then we'll run it again, and I, I shouldn't get a space there. Six, and then nine. The average of the three numbers, six. Uh, the average of the three numbers, three, six, nine, is six. All right. Well, that's pretty good, guys. So that was just going in in a little more depth about uh, variables and, um, as well as getting user input and kind of putting those user inputs into variables and doing various things with those. Alright guys, well I hope you enjoyed it and uh, thanks for watching. Bye.